I'll get right to the point. Um, <clears throat> and it's probably no surprise to you that uh, you've been named as being a communist sympathizer. <clears throat> and recently your name came up as having attended party meetings. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm no communist. You know, I went to a couple of meetings 10 or 12 years ago. That's it. That, yeah. That's it. Yes, we know that. That's exactly our problem, David. Look, nobody wants to embarrass you, okay? Now, Graf has asked the committee to give you this opportunity to explain your past affiliations. Well, there's nothing to explain. I went to a couple of meetings. That's it. That's it. Your affiliations and those of others. And what others? In secret testimony. Secret testimony, David. Listen to what he's saying. Now, he's also assured us that you will be a friendly witness and purge yourself. Purge myself? For what? Going to a couple of meetings? We want to know if you know these people. Um, St Sterling Hayden. Sterling Hayden. Yeah, I know Sterling very well. Howard De Silva. Howard De Silva. I don't know him. No? Lionel Stander. Yeah, I know. I know. Elizabeth Cummings. I met her a couple of times, that's it. And Robert Baxter. Bunny Baxter? Well, I've known Bunny since we were kids. You can't be serious. I mean, it's... the committee would like you to testify as to their membership in the Communist Party. Well, I don't know about the others, but Bunny Baxter is not a communist. He's not a communist. Well, that's, that's the it. committee's responsibility to determine, not yours, no, Mr. No, no, but I'm telling you, Bunny Baxter is not a communist. I've known him all my life. There's no way he's a communist, and I'm not going to say he's one. You really want to be associated with these people? You, a decorated naval officer, dropped behind enemy lines? I'm very disappointed. Yeah, but I don't care. I don't give a shit if you're disappointed or not. I, I, I inform on these people, and they lose their jobs. They lose their f everything. We're not in the employment business, Mr. Merrill. They lose their jobs. Did you, did you tell them I would do this? I would be a fucking stool pigeon? Look, be reasonable, David. Mr. Zanuck is very anxious to get you back to work. Well, I thought you said the committee wasn't in the employment business. It's not. How the industry treats you is not our concern. Obviously, that I can Look, see. Look, this is a very generous Look, offer, David. Look, I got a movie to make. Sorry if we wasted your time, Mr. Merrill. There's obviously been a misunderstanding. Damn right there is. Now, you'll be subpoenaed to testify at the committee's next public session in Washington. 